And just like that, we're at the end of the World Cup. Here are our top five trends from Qatar 2022. We saw some big upsets. Day three of the tournament produced a huge shock. Saudi Arabia beating one of the favorites, Argentina. Other early upsets saw Spain and France beaten. Excuse me, France Morata. France Morata. While Germany and Belgium didn't even make it past the group stage. And perhaps the biggest surprise of all was Morocco, whose rock to the semifinals was a source of joy and pride for Africans and Arabs alike. One of the tournament's big winners wasn't even playing. People from a host of different nations united around the Palestinian cause. Its flag was shown everywhere. When Morocco unfurled it after one of its games, it gave us one of the tournament's most striking images. There were protests too. Before Germany's first World Cup match, which they lost to Japan, the players posed for their team photo with their hands over their mouths. The gesture seemed to be a protest against FIFA's ban of the One Love armband. Several teams were planning to wear them in support of LGBTQ plus rights, but decided against it after threats from FIFA. In the end, Germany failed to advance past the group stage. But Germany weren't the only ones protesting. Before their opening match, Iranian players refused to sing their national anthem. Their silence was seen as a show of solidarity with the rights protests that had swept across Iran. There were even moments for fans to experience new cultures. This moment went viral. A Qatari police officer helping an Ecuador fan with his khutra, a traditional headdress worn in Qatar. As the tournament went on, more and more visitors tried on local attire. Soon enough, stadiums and fan zones were full of colorful thobes like these. We also had World Cup slogans. After a historic win against Portugal, Morocco fans showed superstar Cristiano Ronaldo the World Cup exit. Three days earlier, they had done the same after defeating Spain. So where did that slogan come from? It all started with this guy. 23-year-old Abu Bakr Abbas, known as Qatar's Metro Man. He went viral on social media for showing fans how to get home after the matches. His catchy slogan caught on quickly. 